morning. Chris with 40 Thrive. I don't know why I'm wearing this getup right now. In a minute, I'm going to be out on my porch wearing nothing but a pair of shorts working out. But I wanted to uh, sit here and look ridiculous for a minute. Actually, it's, it's nice and cozy. I might as well enjoy it while I can. So I'm out here getting some sunlight, drinking some coffee. It's, oh, somewhere below freezing today. Um, I already worked my side job this morning, got done about 8.30 this morning, and I've got more work to do. I'm a little under-rested. Nonetheless, I wanted to take this opportunity to talk to you about, well, how I deal with days like that, and share a little bit of information that I picked up today. I wanted to talk to you about depression. I'm no expert in depression, although I have at times, I used to suffer from it, occasionally still suffer from it, but I understand it a lot more and I manage it a lot better than I used to. And I want to talk to you today about three natural antidepressants. Now, I understand that all depression is different. Some people suffer from depression for different reasons, but I found that my depression has significantly improved, Sig significant, I said that right, significantly improved just by a few little mental tricks, some, some uh, changes in my diet, my, my behaviors, my patterns, and just recognizing what exactly is going on when I start to feel depressed. And one of the most valuable little bits of knowledge I learned about depression was the fact that uh, understanding dopamine. And a lot of people confuse dopamine to be the chemical in your body that makes you happy, and that is not the case. Dopamine is actually the chemical in your body that um, gives you motivation. And serotonin, I believe, is the one that makes you feel happy. And, and who knows, maybe a cocktail of other things that are happening inside your brain. Um, if you don't listen to Andrew Huberman's podcast, Huberman's Lab, I highly recommend you do, because I'm not even going to do him any justice. I don't even know why I bother doing this, knowing that there's a Huberman's Lab podcast out there telling you everything that you need to know, and I'm just going to butcher. But nonetheless, I've wanted to share my experience as to how I've managed to deal with uh, depression. I found that through changing my diet to a ketogenic diet and really stabilizing my crazy blood sugar swings, that it had a dramatic improvement on well, I want to make sure I'm, I'm explaining this thoroughly because it's it's kind of like this whole cause and effect thing. Um, when I was all over the place, I couldn't think that straight, and it made tasks and things that laid ahead of me much more daunting, much more overwhelming. Um, and so, therefore, um, my my drive to want to do those things was severely diminished. Um, also, some of the new habits I've gotten into automatically set me up to want to go be more productive. And I have found that that has had a dramatic effect on my levels of dopamine and my motivation to want to go and do things. Because once you've done a certain number of things, which I will explain to you shortly, also the garbage truck is coming, so that's going to cause a little bit of distraction. Most people like to take their garbage cans out the day that the garbage man is coming. Some people even do it the night before. I left mine out all week. That's talk about productive, talk about being proactive. Did you ever want to be a garbage man? Let's go through puberty. What would my voice do this time? 
Ah, yes. A skill. Anyway. So, let's talk about three natural antidepressants. One of which is caffeine. Caffeine can have a mild mood enhancing effect. I'm not saying that this is going to take you off your meds, but isn't it worth a shot before you go? Maybe you're considering. I mean, I'm not saying you've never had a cup of coffee before. Ooh, why didn't I think of that? I'm, I mean, but maybe being aware of it and understanding how to, you know, if you're starting to feel down, maybe have a little, little cup of coffee. See if that does it for you, or maybe coffee's not your thing, maybe a Red Bull, something like that. The other thing that really enhances your mood is sunlight. Whether that be, um, you know, now it has to be within the first three hours of waking up. You want that early day sun. Um, getting sunlight. I don't remember the recommended dosage. I try to get somewhere around 20 minutes per day if possible. But any amount is, is going to be beneficial. Sunlight also helps boost your mood and regulate your mood and helps your body produce the chemicals necessary to stabilize your mood. And then the third one is cold exposure. Deliberate cold exposure. And this is something that I never thought I would ever love. And as I said, in a minute here, I'm going to be stripped down to my, my shorts out on the porch, making the neighbors question their decision to move across the street. But I have noticed a tremendous benefit from deliberate cold exposure. Now, I don't know if, you know, the way I do it out on the porch versus an ice bath or a cold shower has the same effects but it makes me feel better it makes you feel more resilient and it's definitely going to get the blood moving and you know and, and I like to work out while I'm outside so it's not like I'm just standing out here shivering I, I'm working out so maybe it's just that combination of working out and the cold exposure but it feels good so I just wanted to share those with you you know if you if you are it's not uncommon you are not alone um, a lot of people suffer from depression and it doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you look at how differently we are living our lives this day and age and we're ignoring so many uh, I guess signals that our bodies used to uh, have no problems with we were we were going to bed when the Sun went down we were much more attuned to the daylight, to sleeping patterns. We didn't have noise pollution. We didn't have uh, light pollution. We didn't have chemical pollution coming in through our foods. Things weren't open 24 hours a day. It's, it's, no, it's no surprise that our, our bodies, our minds are so disrupted. So don't be so hard on yourself. The best way to reverse that is to get as close back to a natural way of living as possible so yeah I'm uh, I'm gonna remove all this now and I'm gonna be uh, outside getting some working out done and then I've got some work to do and I'm gonna try my darndest to adhere to my own advice and, and get some good rest this evening so that's that keep on thriving this is Chris with 40 Thrive. Cheers. Please like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And uh, I want to keep bringing you as much content as possible, hopefully one day with the incorporation of editing. Yeah. Cheers.